Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Callie, homeschool mom of three kids, six, four, no, five. He had a birthday last week. Six, five, and two. So I have a first grader, I have a pre K er, and a toddler who is in the throes of, you know, major toddlerhood, let me tell you. Um, but today, I'm going to go over Rod and Staff Map. We've been using it for a year now, right at a year now. And I, as the teacher, absolutely love it. Um, we came from using a Becca in kindergarten to switching to Rod and Staff for first grade math. Kind of a weird scenario. My son finished his kindergarten math um, in kindergarten at Christmas break. So it took a semester to get through kindergarten math for him. And then we started Rod and Staff spring semester of kindergarten, um, but started on the first grade level. And so we've been using it for a year now. He is still doing first grade math. It has been an adjustment for him for sure. Um, he very much enjoyed Rebecca and I did not dislike Rebecca. I liked it, um, but I, wanted a little more simplicity and um, mastery work. And uh, Rod and Staff is a little bit advanced. Um, and I just wanted to challenge him a little bit more. I have questioned it a lot, I'm gonna be honest with you, because he does seem to be struggling with it a little bit more. And I wouldn't, I don't know that struggling's the word, I would say he doesn't seem to be enjoying it as he once did when we were using a Becca. And I'm kind of writing that line of what do I desire more? Do I desire him to enjoy every single thing he does? Partially, but I also can see the fruit in um, kind of trekking through something that you don't necessarily like that you need to do and learning that kind of grit and that stamina. And I understand that, yes, he is young, but I also feel like establishing these character traits early on would be very beneficial. So at this point, our goal is to try to stick with Rod and Staff. Again, I love it as a teacher. I think the way that they teach um, math families uh, or addition and subtraction families is brilliant. Um, it is very work heavy. So the worksheets are a lot. And I think that's part of the struggle that he's had is that you do open the workbook and it is a lot of work. And it also is very black and white and very simple. And if you have seen a Becca, it's very colorful. Um, it's very busy. You know, there's lots of pictures. There's coloring built into your math homework and there's nothing wrong with that but it's not something that I really um, want him to get used to. I kind of want him to be able to push through kind of dull things because a lot of times in life, life is the things you need to do are not going to be pretty and exciting and I had to learn that the hard way so I've been kind of wanting to establish that from the get-go. I will also say I started Rod and Staff math with my four-year-old, who's now five. I keep saying four. I haven't made that switch yet. And he is technically in pre-K. He's doing the kindergarten math um, of Rod and Staff, and he has picked it up so well. And so I really do think that the struggle comes from just being used to a very vibrant, colorful, busy, fun um, workbook and then moving to kind of a dull um, work heavy workbook and that's okay. I think we just need to push through that. So I'm going to share what that looks like. I have Rod and Staff Math 1 and 2. So we're going to look through both of those books and I'm excited to show you guys. All right, let's take a look at Rod and Staff Math. We'll start with Arithmetic 1. I do have the Arithmetic 2 book as well. Um, I go off of Memoria Press's lesson plans, which if you are ending up deciding to go with Rod and Staff, you can order through their website and they will provide lesson plans for you. And 
Uh, now through, I believe, the end of May, they are offering free shipping. So it's a good deal. Um, Rod and Staff is also pretty affordable, I feel like, um, for a math curriculum. And so that's just another positive about them. So this is Arithmetic 1. This is actually used for kindergarten math. Lessons 1 through 80 is kindergarten, according to Memoria Press. And then 80 through, what is it, 170, I think is how far it goes. Yep. Or 86 through 170 is what they use for first grade. And then they do um, finish first grade doing a little bit of this Arithmetic 2. So let's just look at it. We'll go ahead and look from the very beginning. It starts off very, very simple. Um, also, in the front, there's there's so much good knowledge here. Um, I really do. I need to spend more time reading through this again. Uh, don't skip this because I did in the beginning, and we struggled through some stuff. And then I actually had a friend that was like, that's been doing this too, and she was like, Kelly, have you read the front of the book? I was like, oh, no, I should do that. It's chock full of just incredibly helpful information for teaching this curriculum. And uh, honestly, when you start reading through this, it just gets you really excited to get into it. I also like that they lay out the new skills. Let me back up so you can see. So they have listed exactly when you're going to be learning new skills. And I just... I think that's super helpful to kind of be able to look for it and see what's coming. And then back here, actually, where is it? Um, oh, it might be in the back of the book. Yes, there's the answer key in the back of the book, which for first kindergarten and first grade math, you don't really need. Um, but all the way back here, there's some really helpful um, teaching resources that like we can flip this open and use this for addition and subtraction, or you can copy it and print it off. Um, and these things are just super helpful. So there's also flashcards. If you don't want to buy flashcards, you can copy and print these and cut them up and then you've got your own flashcards. But we'll go to the back of, or back to the front of the book. Okay, so for kindergarten, you're starting just learning your numbers. Super simple, super easy. Uh, again, I did not use this. For kindergarten, for my oldest son, I have used it for my pre k -er. He is four, five years old. We started this when he was four. Um, he's done incredibly well with it. He's actually almost done with the kindergarten portion, so he'll probably start kindergarten doing the first grade work. Um, but I really like how they did it. Now, this is a lot I'm, for a kindergartner. Obviously, my four-year-old looked at this and was like, whoa. Um, so I had him do every other row and then he loved this. Um, it's kind of like a, almost like a puzzle and yeah, so it goes through all the numbers all the way to 10. Number four, you start incorporating, um, kind of number line order of the numbers and you start incorporating more or less making sure that they're understanding kind of the value of numbers. And then once you get to nine, you begin addition. And they teach the addition and subtraction in these houses by family. So for a few lessons, you're focusing on one family and then it'll move on to another and this is kindergarten. So by the end of kindergarten, which is lesson 85, I believe, they've done some telling of time. They're doing subtraction. They're doing place value. They're counting coins. And I just feel like it is very thorough. Um, let's see, lesson 86. So they've gone addition to six and subtraction of the six families. We pick back up first grade, lesson 86. They're doing a little bit of fractions, word problems, which is fantastic. And first grade will go to the end of this book. So let's look at the last lesson. 
doing some measurements. Lots, lots, lots of addition and subtraction. And just very simple, very cut and clear. And we've enjoyed it. All right, so this is arithmetic two. Again, in the front of the book, they have the new skill sets. They have teaching guidelines, lots of information in there. And this is divided into two units. Um, it looks like it's ma majority review until lesson 24 when they start up with um, adding nine. And let's see. Looks like there's just a ton of review in the front, which I love. I think that's, you know, super beneficial. Um, again, just really great guidelines for teaching each lesson. And we really enjoyed it. So again, if you guys are thinking about using this curriculum, I would definitely go through Memoria Press, get the lesson plans that they offer, and then they have the free shipping through May.